Hey guys, I'm going to cut a part for the uh, unit here. I'm going to cut this piece, well it's actually this piece or this piece technically it could be considered. Uh, so with the newly leveled outfit, it's clamped over here. This is not the idea, far from the ideal uh, way to clamp it because as soon as it does the last pass on the outside this piece will break loose. But I'll be watching it and I'll just hit feed hold. Um, at some point I'm going to have to think of a much better idea for a way of doing it. I think the most likely way. Oh, I forgot to mention. What did I do today is I went and I used the unit to drill, oh, I don't know, what was it? 294 holes in the deck of it. This is where it can't reach on this, so it's kind of deceptive how big an area this unit can do. It can do about 21 inches by... Well, I actually think it's more like 20 inches, but by about 13 inch uh, is the working area. It's slightly larger than that, but that's the effective area. Anyways, I'm going to cut this out. We're going to see how this works. I'm not using any tape. I'm using some uh, scrap pieces MDF as standoffs. We'll see how this works. If it breaks loose and gets fired across the room by the bit or bends the bit when it does catch it, on the last pass, then I'll have to think of a better way of doing it. The smart way of doing it probably would have been to have drilled through the piece, you know, made sure it was in an area that was clear, and made sure that the uh, safe height that you program in the software is higher than the top, you know, highest part of the bolt head kind of a thing. We'll uh, work it out as uh, time goes on. I'm evolving this as I go in my own head. Anyways, I cannot find my tripod, so I can't really do a time lapse of this. I have no idea where it went. It uh, disappeared for completely from anywhere I could think of looking. Uh, so I might hold it for a while, but uh, it's going to be shaky cam if it's uh, if it's you know I speed it up. the idea. Okay, so didn't turn out too bad. Now if you're wondering about this part right here, that would be same as right up here. And I didn't, well, because of limitations with the program, when you do a pocket, it wouldn't let me do another uh, hole all the way through other than a drill hole. So I figured that isn't that inner hole is really it's just a ridge to hold the bearing, so that's not a problem. The uh, wibble wobble. The only other thing is that the pipes are just a little sloppy. I'll have to measure what uh, what the hole size is versus what the pipe size is versus what I plugged into the computer. This hole here, for the bearing, seems to be a little bit tight, so I don't think it's cut in oversize. I think I might have just programmed those wrong. Matter of fact, this bearing will be a very tight fit in there. If, it, if I can even push it in there, I might need to do a little bit of work on that one as well, because it seems almost a little small. The pocketing algorithm was less than ideal. If I uh, included that bit of the footage at the beginning, I got a little bit frustrated with just seeing it kind of just piddling around a whole bunch and, uh, and not really doing anything. But not bad. You know, like that, certainly I can uh, I could replace this piece or the top piece. The only difference is that I'll have to figure out some way to retain these uh, pipes in here. More likely than not, it'll just get epoxied in there. Or at least at one end, it'll get epoxied in. But uh, nonetheless, it'll be a 
suitable replacement, you know, like once they tweak a couple of the parameters there. Regardless, I think that's all I'm doing today. Uh, I'm going uh, somewhere tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, uh, I would be still working on this, actually. It's uh, interesting nonetheless. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll uh, see you in a couple of days.